thin your paint for your paint sprayer. So I have a Wagner paint sprayer and it's I believe the double duty paint sprayer. It comes with two containers. This was just one of them. Um, and this already has some paint in it that I'm going to show you how to thin it to the, the right thickness of paint. Um, this is really important because if it's too thick, it won't go through your paint sprayer. And if it's too thin, then it will just, um, it will go too fast through your paint sprayer and it will cause drips and runs all over your piece and you don't want that. So today we're going to need your container, whatever container comes with your paint sprayer, um, your paint, a mesh strainer. This is just, I found this one at a yard sale. It was a buck, I think. So that's just what I use. Any mesh strainer should work just fine. I have a little whisk that I use just for this purpose. And this is called a viscosity cup. It came with my Wagner paint sprayer. Also, we'll need water. I put my water in mason jars because that's just what I have on hand. I usually do this at the sink. So I just have tap water usually running. Um, so let's get started. So once you have all of your materials together, you're going to want to put your paint into your container. I already have paint in my container. I already mixed my chalk paint into it. Um, I use calcium carbonate with some water and I mix it with my latex flat paint. This kind is glidden, just happens to be what I have on hand. I use bare as well, um, I've used Valspar, any of that works. So I have my chalk paint in here. Um, you do need to make sure that before or while you are putting your paint in here, you strain your paint. You don't want any clumps or lumps, anything from this paint in your container. It will make your paint sprayer not spray very well. Um, the clumps will get into your sprayer and clog it up while you're painting. It's just a pain, so the best thing to do is um, strain your paint while it's filling up in the container. So I just put my strainer right over the container and slowly pour my paint into my container. Um, it does take longer to do because you have to go through the mesh and so the paint takes longer to go through the mess, mesh. So that's how you get the paint in here. Um, and then once you have the paint, you're gonna pour some water in I don't really measure. There's not a right or a wrong answer exactly to how much water because every paint is a different consistency. So there's never going to be a certain recipe of how much water to paint you need to use for your paint thinner or to thin your paint for your sprayer. So using my whisk, I'm just whisking up mixing the paint and the water together. I keep doing this and adding water until I think it's about as thin as it needs to be. So it's getting thinner, but it's still not quite there. You want to add a small amount of water at a time. You don't want to add too much water, because if you add too much water, you're going to have to add more paint to thicken it up. And I feel like it's a pain to open up my paint can and pour more paint in once I've already cleaned out my strainer and everything. So it's easiest and fastest to just watch how much water you're doing and slowly mix it all together. I think that might be about the right consistency. So I'm going to grab this viscosity cup. Um, this just came with my paint sprayer. Um, basically what you do is you put, you dip this into your paint, then I'm going to grab over here to my phone and turn on my timer. And as I turn on my timer, I'm just going to bring it up. And basically I just want the paint to run out of here between 25 and 35 seconds. For me that's the best 
thickness of paint. For my paint sprayer, for how I like to paint, um, you'll just have to figure it out for yourself. So you just watch the time. And that was exactly 25 seconds when it finished running out of here. So I was lucky this time and I mixed the exact amount of water to paint. So that's what it looks like. Super thin. And now I'm ready to put the paint sprayer back together, put the top back onto this and go out and spray my piece.